It's a classic case of commuter traffic going through wildlife habitat. A new report from UC Davis shows wildlife vehicle collisions are on the rise. California spent nearly $300 million last year cleaning up after those accidents. So why does the state have some of the most frequent run-ins with wildlife in the state? CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joins us live in El Dorado County tonight getting answers. Macy? Well, Adrian and Sam, believe it or not, every one and a half days, there is a wildlife vehicle collision right here on Highway 50. Between damage to the vehicle, medical expenses, and first responders, these accidents are costing much more than you might imagine. When you hit it, it's like, oh my God, because you think you hit, you know, something else, but it was a, a deer. It happens all the time. They come out of nowhere. Animals in the middle of the road, a big hazard for drivers. And they don't look both ways when they cross the road. They just run across. The result, an injured animal and a banged up car. It damaged the right front fender. So it was like $5,000 to get it fixed. These run-ins are happening all over the state and cost California $276 million in 2016. But Fraser Schilling with UC Davis Road Ecology Center says that number only accounts for state highway collisions. You go into the country roads and other places in the state and you could probably add another $300 million to that. The worst areas for wildlife collisions, the Bay Area and the foothills. On Highway 50 alone, they cost $118,000 dollars per mile across 54 miles of road. It's a classic case of commuter traffic going through wildlife habitat. One solution, build more wildlife underpasses like this one. They allow the animal to pass under the road, keeping drivers and wildlife safe. If you build something like that, wildlife will use it right away. Schilling says building an average underpass or overpass would cost one to two million dollars. They'll pay for themselves in a few years. But after living in Placerville for 12 years, Mitch Jones says it's up to drivers to take a little more initiative behind the wheel. Slow down a little bit. Now, the study estimates that if wildlife fencing were put in right here in El Dorado County, it would pay for itself within three and a half years. All right, Macy, thank you very much. Live for us tonight in El Dorado County.